Today, we'll learn about the new COVID-19 variant, Omicron, and how it is affecting a lot more than we think. We'll touch on Omicron and how it's affecting the global economy. Next, we'll discuss how investors are dealing with stocks. Afterwards, we'll dive deep into the toll that the market has taken on Bitcoin. Then, we see what has happened to the price of gold ever since the spike of Omicron. And lastly, we'll discuss what's going on so far with the Japanese currency, yen. First, let's discuss the COVID-19 variant Omicron and how it's wreaking havoc in the stock market. The new variant could pose a threat not only to world health, but to the global economy. Meanwhile, markets are expected to stay volatile. It was noted that global equities were sold off at a drastic rate when Omicron first hit. Federal Chief Jerome Powell stated Omicron posed a risk to all sides of central banks. In efforts for steady prices with maximum employment, his statements sparked speculation that the Omicron spread may delay interest rate spikes. The new strain is yet another obstacle facing the economy and is the worst inflation within three decades. Market researchers seem to think that U.S. central banks could delay boosting interest rates in 2022, although it didn't help the equities, but rather boosted the value of gold and yen and in fact dented the dollar. So what does that say for global equities now? Until more is known, investors could take the approach and choose to sit and wait, but meanwhile, the market is prepared prepared to take a dip. The arrival of the new variant had since thrown the market for a whirl and resulted in a 2.5% drop on Black Friday. So should investors be fearful of Omicron or should they simply hang back and play the market safe? The new virus has investors on edge about what they should do next. Next, we'll talk about how investors are navigating the market now that Omicron is a factor. The wild movements in the market are due to investors scrambling to counter the damage that the newest COVID variant will do to the economy. Chief investment strategist Liz Young has said, investors are going to have to get used to the idea that this is not going to be the last variant. This is likely something that is with us for a while and we have to learn to live with it and manage growth from an investment standpoint, implying that the variant won't be going away and it's best to learn to maneuver with it rather than freeze. A tough blow dropped on Wall Street when the head of the Federal Reserve said it could stop the immense support for markets a lot sooner than previously thought. High inflation continues to sweep the world amidst the crisis. The 2020 market collapse that followed the first initial wave of COVID is the reason we keep seeing the inflation rise. The only thing that keeps investors going is the constant willingness to bargain hunt investors and buy following a dip in prices. Jerome Powell had said the central bank is thinking about an early halt to monthly bond purchases, and those are meant to goose the economy and keep rates on mortgages low in addition to other loans. This would open the door for them to raise short-term rates. Portfolio manager John McLean from Brandywine Global said, investors are turning into epidemiologists and it's not great. We're not good at handicapping politics or science. While it's uncertain what impact Omicron could have on public health, there are three market trends that will most likely occur in the near future. The first being that Omicron is driving stock market volatility. The second being that the new virus could make inflation worse and lead to supply issues. Third, and lastly, it could inspire a hawkish Federal Reserve. Now let's see how Omicron has been affecting Bitcoin. Bitcoin was sent into a whirlwind following the outbreak of Omicron. The risk of Omicron gives the opportunity for retail traders to short Bitcoin. At the end of November, it was revealed that there would be a threefold increase in the number of Bitcoin contracts that are held by retail investors compared to prior weeks. These open interest holdings represent the capital that is held as collateral for both short and long trades. This shatters the average amount of short Bitcoin held by retail traders, even though equity investors see fresh records. Bitcoin followers aren't seeing a prosperous rally. During the past few days, Bitcoin is down nearly 7%, and it's feeling the effects of a low volume due to the end of a holiday season. And at the end of the holiday season, Bitcoin is down more than 17%. 15% and is heading for its lowest since May of 2021, when it dropped 35%. On a positive note, it is up 63% and was at an all-time high of 69,000. On November 10th, a report showed a 200% jump in Bitcoin contracts from 887 to 2,663. In addition, a small number of investors
investment banks have given the go-ahead to wealthy clients to buy then sell CME futures. A small group of asset managers took action in Bitcoin futures positions in November. It totals more than 5,000 Bitcoin futures, equaling 1.5 billion. But smaller coins which usually move with Bitcoin are also falling. Ether, which is the biggest market capitalization, dropped as much as 11 cents to its lowest in a week. So will Bitcoin see a steady fall or will it drop like it has before? Now that the holiday season is over, could we see a jump in Bitcoin? We now learn of the drop of the price of gold. The price falls as a result of fears amid the Omicron variant. The value of gold falls under pressure and investors take a look at the impact as a result of Omicron and hawkish Federal Reserves. It has dropped two days in a row and dropped below the former support of $1,800. And that was the lowest since December 22nd. In Singapore, gold had a decline with increasing evidence that Omicron doesn't pose a threat to global growth. The rising inflation and geopolitical factors and rise in Omicron cases have helped the price of gold. The prices are projected to range between 1,775 and 1,825. Gold dropped to 1,806.79, an ounce in Singapore, after dropping 0.3% on Tuesday. In addition, the thin trading during the holiday season could be a contributing factor to the swings in price. Vivek Dar, who is the commodities analyst at the Commonwealth Bank of Australia said, the initial sell-off in the gold price was likely triggered by the Asian market buying the US dollar and selling gold in response to the strong US payrolls. While gold has recovered from some losses, Dar also stated it was difficult to remain bullish on the precious metal. So if the Omicron variant worsens, could we see the price of gold fall with it? Will gold continue to fall, or is it waiting for another potential spike? What losses could we see our precious gold take yet again? Or is it possible the scales could tilt and gold could rise up in value? We hope Omicron won't affect too much more than it already has. Next, we'll see what's happening with yen ever since the spike of Omicron. The trade of yen nears a month low to the American dollar, and safe havens are aren't in favor following the Wall Street's rally with a record high overnight. The Japanese currency has weakened to 114.935 yen per dollar for the first time since November 26. The lowest year to date was 115.525 November 24th. Osamu Takashima, the head of GlowFX strategy at Citigroup Global Markets in Japan said, markets globally are optimistic and that Omicron won't derail a recovering economy. Japan Japan's safe haven currency status in times of trouble may have proved short-lived. The previous notion was that the Japanese yen were to be kept safe in times of uncertainty. That attitude was possibly exemplified in the aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami that then hit Japan and its eastern seaboard in 2011, which caused the Fukushima nuclear disaster. So what could we see happen to the yen in the midst of Omicron? Will the yen drop in value as the dollar has recently? Or or could the scales tilt in favor of the yen once again? Could it become Japan's safe haven again? You'll have to watch the stocks and keep an eye out to see for yourself. There you have all the information you need to know surrounding Omicron and how it's affected so much. First, we touched on how Omicron was causing a commotion in the stock market. Next, we learned how stock investors are learning to navigate the market due to the obstacles the new variant has caused. Then we learned about the significant drop that was seen within Bitcoin and wondered if it could continue to drop even more. Afterwards, we got to know the price of gold was dropping in addition to the dollar. And lastly, we learned how the Japanese currency yen has been doing amidst the variant. So we wonder what will continue to drop and what the future will hold for Bitcoin. We also wonder how investors will navigate the new age of marketing thanks to Omicron. Keep your eyes to the Wall Street skies and see what takes place next.